In the first couple chapters for the introduction to learning SOLIDWORKS 2014 video title, we are going to begin by talking about sketching. Now most people, whether they are using the SOLIDWORKS software or some other 3D parametric modeling software, they do not view the sketching aspect of the software as the fun part. Most people consider the enjoyable part is when you take that 2D sketch and turn it into a 3D feature. However, I cannot emphasize enough just how important it is that you develop a good foundation in sketching. As a college professor, I have had many students go through my SOLIDWORKS courses. If I can point out one weakness students have when using a SOLIDWORKS software, it's always in their sketches. A lot of students don't go through the necessary steps in order to build a good, clean sketch. They don't see the importance of it until they have issues later on down the road. In the next couple chapters, we are going to take a look at the sketching environment. Then we'll follow that with covering the basic sketch tools, for example, lines, rectangles, circles, and arcs. Then we'll talk about an item called geometric relations, how to add them automatically and manually. We'll then look at smart dimensioning, numeric sketch input, and then we'll get into a discussion over a few lessons on what it means when a sketch is underdefined, overdefined, or fully defined. Then we'll follow those lessons with the next chapter, looking at intermediate sketch tools, for example, polygons, slots, fillets, and chamfers. And then we'll get into items such as repairing sketches, rapid sketch, and how to trim and extend sketch entities. Now that's just an overview of the next couple of chapters. And like I said, I cannot emphasize enough just how important it is that you build a good foundation in sketching practices. What you see on the screen is a 3D model of a brake rotor. Now that brake rotor is fairly easy to create. If you look at the left hand side of the screen, in the Feature Manager design tree, we have one feature, a boss extrude. However, that boss extrude would not have been possible without the 2D sketch. If I edit the 2D sketch, you can see just how much work went into that sketch. Let's go ahead and close out of this part and take a look at another part. In this part of the cast wheel, notice we have a round feature. It would make sense to use the revolve feature. Once again, that revolve feature would not be possible without a 2D sketch. If I edit the 2D sketch, you can see the profile for that cast wheel. So real important to create good, clean 2D sketches. We'll take a look at one last part. And notice this feature manager tree consists of many features. In fact, if we expand them, you will see each one of these features consist of a sketch. And as I select the different sketches, and as you keep an eye on the screen, you will see what the sketch consisted of. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the importance of sketching in the SOLIDWORKS software. Just to wrap this up, let's select the new icon and the new SOLIDWORKS document dialog box opens. SOLIDWORKS has three environments, part, assembly, and drawing. If you think about it, drawings are not possible in SOLIDWORKS unless you have assemblies or parts already existing. Along that same line, assemblies are not possible unless you have parts existing. So the parts are the basis of the SOLIDWORKS software. But as you can see, based on our discussion and based on looking at this model, without sketches, a 3D model is not possible.